the tiny mic is out. Welcome. I'm so excited. We are going to a daffodil field. Now, I'm just going to put an ad here. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I am doing a job with Board BA about daffodils. And I asked, as soon as I saw the brief, I was like, can I go to a daffodil farm? Is there any daffodil farms in Dublin or in the surrounding area? I will drive to a daffodil farm. And they hooked me up with one of the growers. Um, I think it's Elm Green. So it's Elm Grove Farm. I think they may have an open day where you can actually go to the daffodil farm. But I'm not sure when this video is going up. It may have passed. But if you follow their Instagram, I'll put their socials on the screen. So Elm Grove Farm in Gormanstown. I'm so excited. But so the reason why I'm excited is because I got a new lens. I, well, first of all, my accountant might be like, why are you buying things you don't really need? But I do need to take beautiful photos. And in order to do that, I like to invest in lenses. So <laughs> this is where all my YouTube money goes. This is a Sigma 100 to 400. I can see inside your soul with this. Excited to take some pictures with this and I've got my other lenses as well. So I need to pack up my gear. I need to make sure I bring my tripod and everything. Also, do you like my wrinkle? Actually, just with the lenses, I buy all my lenses secondhand but they're pretty much brand new, like, um, you save like a couple of hundred on them, and I use, it's either MPB or MBP, MPB, I've bought probably about four or five lenses at them at this stage, throughout the years for different cameras, anyway, I got this little raincoat, because obviously it's Ireland, it's March, looks like there's a bit of sunshine coming out, but this week is forecast to be like one of the wettest, so... I will be in a daffodil field in my floral raincoat. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> um, so that's the plan. I'm gonna pack up my kit and let's go to the daffodil field. I hope you can see me because I can't see the viewfinder on my uh, thing. It's very windy, so I have the mic on. How cool is this? First of all, when you think of fields of flowers, I always think of Amsterdam um, and the big tulip fields. This is stunning and it's like right on our doorstep. So this is the main part of the daffodil farm. So when you come into Elm Green, there's like a small little garden centre, which I'm going to have a little look in. Um, I'm not allowed to buy anything. There's a little coffee kind of, um, there's a coffee shop, a flower shop. So if you want to get cut flowers and a small little gift shop. There's also some farm stuff as well. I, I Let me show you the big juicy carrot I seen in there. Muck and all still on there, so you know it's good. Um, so this is their main farm, so you can't just walk onto this. But the lady was just saying who brought me up here that on the open days, they will bring people up here. I think you might be able to cut your own daffodils. So some of the daffodils, are they die back and then the bulb is sold on. I'm not sure kind of what way that works because you'll see some fields I'll show you. Um, I'll actually show you now. You can see these ones here. These are, I think she was saying they die off and then the bulb is used to, so do you know how you buy like a bag of daffodil bulbs in autumn time? So that's why some of them are at different stages. So I imagine these ones are ready to cut. These are, these are stunning. Um, so I wonder how they do the planting. Like, do they have to alternate the planting between having, so you, they don't all flower at once. So you get the whole kind of flowering season. So you'll always have like some cut daffodils. Over here is some rogue daffodils. So I think there's like a cover crop here. Apologies if the wind is too much on the mic. Um, but there's a few rogue daffodils from um, when they were previously planted. 
So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful here. My camera has fallen over like five times in the mud. <laughs> You're currently resting in mud. Um, I'm going to take out my big lens now and see what pretty close-up shots I can get of the daffodils before I get kicked out for spending too much time in here. Five minute drive from the flower farm, I decided to head to the beach, even though it was a very moody, grey, Irish day. I just thought we can all do with a bit of sea air and seeing as I was out that direction. So I had a coffee and a little stroll around, but I actually got inspiration for my next painting. So if you're wondering why I got so many shots of that cute thatched cottage on that cliff edge, it's because I think that's going to be my next painting in art class. I'm still painting my horse. It feels like forever. It's been a couple of months. It's been since before Christmas. So I think I've got a few more hours left on it. But I think this next one will be really nice. Because I like the detail of the cottage. And I managed to get a shot of it in front of some daffodils as well. So... That was a happy accident. You never know where you're going to get inspiration. I went to Laytown Beach, but I had serious nostalgia as I was driving to it because Mosny is not too far from it. And that was somewhere I used to adore going to as a kid. We actually used to camp there. It was kind of like a Butlins. I think they called the Butlins in the UK. And we had Mosny here. And then there was another place I went to on a school tour. And it's mad that it's still there. And that's called Sonerte. I did check to see if it was open. It's like a nature place. One of my favorite school tours. So yeah, serious nostalgia. Sonerta wasn't open, but I think it does open Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays this time of year.
hope you enjoyed the extra video this week. For new viewers, I always upload every Thursday. And for my regular viewers, last year I was uploading twice a week and I was doing a Sunday garden video. For now, I'm gonna be treating the Sunday garden video as every other Sunday, just because I have to prioritize other work. I was sharing over Christmas in a video about how YouTube fluctuates a lot and AdSense can be quite inconsistent. So I do have to prioritize other paid work. So Thursday videos, I have been experimenting with trying to make them longer. So I'd love to know if you prefer the longer Thursday video. Would you like me to sandwich garden and home in one video? But then I know there are just people who just watch for the garden videos as well. You can leave any feedback in the comment section and I look forward to chatting to you. I have playlists for the cottage garden videos and I also have playlists for, you know, sewing, home videos as well. You can also become a member where there is an ad-free playlist where you can watch all of the videos ad-free and uninterrupted.